So I got a writing assignment today in my food and culture class, and I have to write an essay using sources. Luckily, it's about my favorite subject in the world, sandwiches. But I'm still a little nervous about putting quotes into my paper. I started with a search on JSTOR and EBSCO, and I clicked on the first article that came up, and I looked for the most intelligent sounding quote I could possibly put into my paper. Here's what I found. <clears throat> for both roseate and sandwich turns in 1993, adult diets consisted of different proportions of prey than those fed to chick. Math, 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 anchovies in the- I don't even know that word, skipping ahead. That should make my paper bigger. Here's what I heard. Blah, 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 science, 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 bigger. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. But I couldn't help but notice you have no idea what that quote is talking about, do you? Tip number one, always understand your quote. The quote you actually used was talking about the feeding habits of a particular Puerto Rican bird. How much of your quote do you need to understand? Every word of it. If you don't understand what the author is saying, don't use it. So I went back to JSTOR and did another search and looked through about a million articles until I found a quote that I understood and I think it will work pretty well in my paper. The size of the average sandwich, of which there are many varieties, including BLT, PB&J, grilled cheese, submarine, club, Reuben, cheesesteak, and sloppy joe, among others, additionally most scholars group hamburgers in the sandwich category, has increased by 300% since the early 20th century. Whoa, whoa, there is too much going on in that particular sandwich. Eight. If you want to shorten a quote, use an ellipsis. This thing. It can take out the bits that aren't as important. Try it again. The size of the average sandwich has increased by 300% since the early 20th century. But that's so much shorter! Maybe I'll just sneak a few of those extra words in. I've got a page requirement, you know. Okay, go ahead and try and sneak some extra words into that sandwich. What do you think about that, Denzel? Okay, okay, no extra words. But how am I supposed to make my page requirement? Easy, just use your own words. Use my own words, yeah, yeah, okay. Here it goes. The size of the average sandwich has increased by 300% since the early 20th century. Obesity is a growing problem in our country. Michelle Obama is working to reduce childhood obesity. Beginning your paragraph with a quote is like slapping your reader in the face with the meat of your paper. Instead of explaining the quote afterwards, you spouted off unconnected information. Okay, how's this? Though sandwiches are an American tradition, their increasing size is leading to widespread obesity problems. According to researcher Melissa Hammond, the size of the average sandwich has increased by 300% since the early 20th century. This is bad. Analyze your quote. Analyze? What's that? Why are you using this quote? How does it help your argument? What does it mean and why? Take your quote as far as it can go. You can do it, you're smart. I am too smart. S-M-R-T, I mean S-M-A-R-T. Though sandwiches are an American tradition, today they threaten the lives of many Americans. According to researcher Melissa Hammond, the size of the average sandwich has increased by 300% since the early 20th century. With such a huge increase in size, sandwiches are contributing to the uncontrolled obesity problem in the United States. If left unregulated, sandwich size will surely continue to increase within the next century, further aggravating this problem. This is the first reason legislators should pass a law regulating sandwich size. This paragraph works well because you introduce your quote, you explain your quote, and you use the information from your quote to support your argument. That was an awesome sandwich. It's really going to have an impact on your reader. Got
to try this sandwich. It's no ordinary sandwich. Everyone's gonna be talking about this sandwich. In the trees.